Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a personal bankruptcy attorney here in Atlanta, and I want to talk about um, a, an article I saw in a newspaper uh, online, and it was from a personal financial consultant. And basically, it was an answer to a question somebody had written in saying, my daughter is getting ready to marry somebody who has just filed bankruptcy, should I be concerned? And it kind of got me thinking, um, you know, that's a very good question because I think there are a lot of people, especially folks that are getting into going into second marriages or, uh, or even long-term relationships with somebody who's filed bankruptcy, should they be concerned? And the answer to that is, first of all, um, if you are going into a relationship with somebody who has filed bankruptcy, your new spouse, your new partner's bad credit is not going to affect you negatively. It shouldn't affect you negatively. So your credit reports are not going to get merged. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't check your credit report uh, to make sure that there's no overlap there, uh, and you shouldn't make an effort to keep things separate, at least for a while, I would say at least a year or two after the bankruptcy is over. But your new spouse's bankruptcy information should not end up on your credit. Now, what you will find is that the recently bankrupted person is going to have a more difficult time obtaining credit. And that means that you as the new spouse are going to be expected to apply for car loans, apply for mortgage loans, mortgage loans that type of thing, or even co-sign for uh, certain types of credit. So that means that uh, you as the, the new spouse, the non-filing spouse, uh, should be very careful about co-signing anything because again you know statistics show that marriages that, that are going to fail are typically going to fail fairly early and certainly in a non-marital situation uh, you could break up with your boyfriend girlfriend or whatever uh, you don't want to be stuck with their bad credit because of a decision you made uh, after they had filed and you were trying to be nice and help them out so uh, I always tell people keep things as separate as possible for at least two or three years if at all possible, uh, because the last thing that you want to, to bring into a new relationship is the stress of credit, uh, and it, maybe you have to just wait before you get that house or that car, but I'm really not a big fan of people co-signing for anybody else or uh, borrowing money for somebody else's car, for example. That's never a good idea that you uh, sign, you buy a car, but let somebody else drive it. That's usually not a good idea. Those things typically don't, don't have happy endings. So what I would say is that if you're going into a, a relationship with somebody who's just coming out of bankruptcy, uh, just be very careful, uh, be very aware that, that sometimes relationships don't last and that it's important for you to preserve your credit. That's as important as anything and don't let yourself be guilted into uh, co-signing for somebody else or making a, a questionable financial decision uh, for a new relationship because again, uh, my experience has been those things don't always work out all that well. So that's my response. That's how I would have answered uh, the question to the financial expert. Uh, what do you think? Do you think I'm off base on this? Do you think I've got, uh, I'm being too harsh on the person who's coming out of bankruptcy? Uh, or do you think that uh, maybe I'm missing something entirely? Please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Again, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg, bankruptcy attorney here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and if, uh, if you like this video, please uh, like it on YouTube. Uh, check, like it on Facebook. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if, again, if I can be of any assistance to you, please let me know. Thanks a lot.